Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. continue with Lilavati in this second lecture on the topic. Uh, we continue with some applications of right triangles and what are known as Suchi problem. Then uh, he discusses the construction of a quadrilateral. Some of the earlier confusions seem to be removed. So, for instance, the area of a cyclic quadrilateral, quadrilateral was given as remember square root of s minus a into s minus b into s minus e into s minus d. So, earlier it was not stated specifically that you know it is for a cyclic quadrilateral, but uh, Bhaskaracharya tells that it is only for a cyclic quadrilateral and it is not correct for any arbitrary quadrilateral. So, then <coughs> he will uh, go on with the construction of a quadrilateral. So, essentially apart from four, only four sides is not sufficient, you have to specify one more thing, one more angle or a diagonal. So, then given the four sides and a one diagonal, how to construct to find the second diagonal, then it is continues with the cyclic quadrilaterals. So, in the last uh, uh, this topic also is very important value of pi, I mean that is the ratio of the circumference and the diameter in a circle, area of a circle, surface area of a sphere and volume of a sphere are discussed. So, a rational right triangle for instance, suppose you have a side A upright half of A squared by n minus n, then hypotenuse is half of A squared by n plus 1. Of course, it is obviously true because this square plus this square will be equal to this square, but how to get this? So, I mean where do you start from? So, Ganesha Devagna explains in his uh, famous Buddhi Vilasini commentary. So, suppose the side is A. So, then let hypotenuse minus upright be n, okay. I mean take side to be a and the difference between the hypotenuse and the upright is n and they let, let the upright be x. So, then obviously a squared plus x squared, a is the side upright is x, a squared plus x squared is hypotenuse which is now upright plus n. So, that is x plus n whole square. So, x squared plus n squared plus 2 x n. So, you immediately get x is equal to half of a squared by n minus n and hypo hypotenuse is x plus n is equal to half of a squared by n plus n. So, this ratio a squared by n that is what is. So, essentially you are starting with side a and hypotenuse as n plus the other perpendicular side you get this or given suppose you are given the hypotenuse and an assumed number you see here side a and uh, some number is given. Here hypotenuse a and assumed number is given. Then by the you will find the upright to be 2 a n by n squared plus 1 and the side is this a into n squared minus 1 by n squared plus 1. So, these some ways of construction. Okay. So, then the various problems he discusses some of them have become very famous. Most people who talk about Leelavati, talk about this the so called bamboo problem. Suppose a bamboo of height a is there standing vertically, it is broken at height x and the tip falls to the ground at a distance b from the root of the bamboo. So, what is happening is that there is a so big bamboo is there. So, then at some height you know it is bro broken. Okay and then this will be the thing. So, that this plus this you see is equal to the original height right and uh, this is yeah. So, this is x. So, this is a minus x. So, this is a and uh, so this is B, yeah. So, Vamshagra Mulantara Bhumi Vargo, 
वंशोधतस्तेन पृथग्युतो नो वंशोतदर्ते बहुत क्रमेण वंशस्य कंडे श्रुतिकोटिपे ओके ऑफकोर्स यू कैन एंजॉय दि पोलिटिकल ब्यूटी ऑल्सो ऑफ दिस वंश कमिंग वेरियस प्लेसस् बट वाट इट मीन्स इज द स्क्वेर ऑफ द ग्रउंड इंटरसेप्टेड बिटवीन द रूट एंड द टिप इज डिवेडेड बै दि लेंथ ऑफ द बैंबू and the quotient severally added to and subtracted from the bamboo the house of the sum and difference will be the two portions of it representing the hypotenuse and the upright so essentially he is uh, talking about the situation where so this is the hypotenuse so h plus x is equal to a right so h squared is clearly h squared is b squared plus x squared so so h squared minus x squared is b squared so h minus x is h squared minus x squared by h plus x so that is equal to b squared by a because the squared minus x squared is b squared so from sankramana so h plus x is a and h minus x is b squared by a so from sankramana upright is x is equal to half of a minus b squared by a and hypotenuse h is half of a plus b squared by a so this is essentially ganesha's explanation of the result <coughs> so he gives an example also if a bamboo measuring 32 cubits and standing upon level ground be broken in one place by the force of wind and the tip of it meets the ground at 16 cubits say mathematician at how many cubits from the root it is broken यदि समुवि वेणु दद बैंबू दंत पाणी प्रमाणो दंता इज थर्टी टू पाणी इज हस्ता यू नो क्यूबिट्स सो दंत प्राणी थर्टी टू क्यूबिट्स प्रमाणो दट इज द मेजर गणक पवन वेगा एक देशे स भग्न सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फोर्स ऑफ द विंड इट इज ब्रोकन एट समथिंग थिंग भुवी नृपमित हस्ते इशु वेव लग्नस्थ दग्रम एंड टिप ऑफ इट मीट्स द ग्रउंड एट सिक्सटीन क्यूबिट्स कथय कथिषु मूलादेश भग्न करेशु सो हाउ वि वेर इज इट ब्रोकन ओके सो हियर इट इज दिस इज थर्टी टू द टोटल हईट बिफोर इट गॉट ब्रोकन दट इज थर्टी टू एंड दिस इज सिक्सटीन बी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन सो देन यू कैन फाइंड आउट एक्स एंड एच राइट danta is 32 is 32 teeth pani is hasta you know so that is the cubit pramana <laughs> yeah danta prani pramana yeah so that will of course satisfy the criterion of meter also you know so and uh, sounds nice <laughs> so here x is finally the solution is x is equal to half of a minus b squared by a so half of a is 32 b is 16 so b squared is 256 by 32 so this will be 12 and h is a minus x is 32 minus 12 is 20 okay so this is the this is the solution to the problem 12 20 then this is 12 so total of this is 32 right 12 plus 20 yeah then again you have this famous snake peacock problem in verse 150 अस्ति अस्थतले बिल तदुपरी क्रीडा शिखंडी स्थित स्तंभो नंदकोच्चित त्रिगुणित स्तंभ प्रमाणातरे दृष्टिवाहिं बिलमजतमपतत्यक्ष तस्ोपरी क्षिप्र ब्रूहि तयो बिला कथमिते साम्यन कत्ति सो ये स्नेक सोल इज द फुट ऑफ ए पिलर नईन क्यूबिट्स हई एंड ए पीकाक स्पर्ज एंड इट्स Summit. Seeing a snake at the distance of thrice the pillar, gliding towards his hole, he pounces obliquely upon him. Say quickly, at how many cubits from the snake's hole they meet, both proceeding an equal distance? Okay. So here is the problem. See here, this is some uh, samba pillar. So upon that, you know, some peacock is there. So mil uh, this uh, uh, snake is here. The villa, that is this hole, is here. so snake is proceeding towards this so and it says that the peacock is proceeding to you know it is 
flying to <coughs> moving to catch the snake. So, it is said that both of them are you know meet at the, some point such so that you know they, the distance that they have travelled is equal that is the move at the same speed. Okay. It also given that this total AC that the, this is 3 times this height so 27. So, we should know this x so x 27 max. So, a b is 29 qubits a c is 27. So, this is x let us say. So, c d is 27 x minus x. So, this is equal to b d. So, b d squared minus a d squared is equal to a b squared. So, 27 minus x whole squared minus x squared is 9 squared. So, if you solve this you will get x is equal to 12. So, snake and peacock meet at distance 12 from the hole. Okay. Of course, this will uh, lend itself a good dramatization also. There is some, uh, some CD made on Leelavati, you know. So, there uh, they demonstrate all these, you know, some of these problems are demonstrated, you know. So, snake is coming, you know, the music, you know, snake is coming and peacock is <laughs> this thing. So, nice. In fact, earlier uh, Chandraleka from Chennai also had done a play with this thing on, you know. Dance drama based on Dilavati. I have not seen that. <laughs> it has inspired so many people in so many ways. Then again, this is also a famous problem called the lotus problem. Sage Sakhe Padmatan Majjana Sthana Madhyam Buja Koti Karnantaram Padma Drushyam Nalaha Koti Retan Mitam Syadhyatombho Vadaivam Samaniya Paniya Manam. So, earlier you see the lotus is there, this is the root, so this is the base and because again of the force of the wind, so lot, let, lotus will get submerged, okay. So, this will become the diagonal, this will become the you know AC will become AD, the AC is equal to AD, okay. So, then this is given, this BD is given. So, where does it getting, where is it getting submerged, okay, B that is given. So, then you have to find out the depth. Okay. So, lotus as seen above water is the difference between the hypotenuse and the upright. The stack is the upright for the depth of water is measured by it. Say what the depth of the water is. Okay. So, so, this is the I had already. So, essentially you have this a plus a plus d whole squared is equal to this thing uh, d squared plus b squared. So, d is equal to b squared minus a squared by 2 a and uh, a is 1 span suppose a is 1 span half qubit then b is uh, 2 qubit is given to be so depth is 15 by 4. So, it is simple application of the right angle theorem. So, then again it comes to the A problem. Ruksha dhasta shato chaya chata yuge papyam kapihi koshyagat etcetera. So, from a tree a hundred cubits high an ape descended and went to a pond two hundred cubits distant while another ape vaulting to some height of the tree proceeded with a velocity diagonally to the same spot. If the space travelled by them be equal Tell me quickly learned man the height of the leap if thou have diligently studied calculations. Okay. So, that is essentially you have this situation. So, this is some tree okay. and then there is a pond. So, tree this is 100 and this is Pond is there some 200. Okay. So, then one copy monkey is you know descending and uh, reaching this pond here. So, another monkey is you know leaping okay, and then goes diagonally. Okay. So, then you have to find this leap. So, this is the leap. Okay. So, again solution is given in actually an earlier verse 
sometimes it happens he gives the this is solution first and then gives the method. So, the height of the tree multiplied by its distance from the pond is divided by twice the height of the tree added to the space between tree and pond the quotient will be the measure of the leap. Okay. So, vinigna talochita samyutam yata sarontaram tena vibhajitaya talochite stala sarontara gniya uddiya manam khalu labhyate tat uddiya is you know udan leap. So, essentially he is calculating this x this leap is x. So, this is a is equal to this height of the tree and b is the distance between the tree and the pond right. So, clearly x is and one sees that actually x is equal to so, it is essentially same as the two ascetics problem in Brahma's Putta Siddhanta okay. The same thing we had discussed this earlier. So, only this some numbers have been changed and uh, the ascetics have been replaced by monkeys. <laughs> so, you will get the solution as a b by 2 a plus b okay, where a is the uh, this thing height and b is the distance between the these b. So, this height is a leap. So, that is given as one can check that 2 a b by a plus b. Then in that case one can check that a plus x whole square plus b square is that you know the diagonal a plus x whole square plus b square okay. So, that is the square root of that that is the diagonal of the hypotenuse okay. So, x plus hypotenuse must be equal to a plus b. So, x plus hypotenuse x plus square root of x a plus x whole square plus b square that is a plus b right. So, so this is h is so x plus h is equal to a plus b. So, a plus x whole square plus b square. So, if you take it uh, to this side and square it you get uh, essentially this. So, then he discusses the some segments and perpendicular they are also considered as important. Suppose you have two bamboos a b and c d are the bamboos and the heights are a b is equal to a small a and c d is equal to b. Suppose the distance between them is d a c is d. So, now top of each bamboo is joined by string to the bottom of the other you see. So, this is the situation and p is equal to e f is a perpendicular from the intersection of the strings at e to the base a c at f and find you have to find p and the segments a f x is equal to x 1 and f c is equal to x 2. So, that is what you have to find. So, like one can again you can you have to find do the similar triangles e f by f c is equal to a b by a c. So, like that various similar triangles you have to do. So, finally, you get p is equal to a b by a plus b. So, this perpendicular you see this is just given by a b by a plus b. So, interesting it does not depend upon d this perpendicular does not depend upon d and uh, of course, once you know the perpendicular one can find these segments. Okay. So, x 1 and x 2 are given. Yeah. So, this kind of a so sim for example, is given bamboos 15 and 10 suppose distance is 5 then uh, what is the perpendicular perpendicular will be 6 and this is 3 and 2. So, just similar triangles are used. So, this is you know in fact, this type of problems will come later in the quadrilaterals and all that you know various kinds of very complicated kind of uh, uh, the segments and uh, this perpendiculars will be there. So, it will be quite instructive even in Brahma's Putta Siddhanta it is there. 
it is so that continuous and he gives a lot more uh, you know detail of various segments it is good to understand the thorough thing thoroughly and you know all these geometry configurations etc will be clear that seems to be the reason why they are doing this so then he continues with his triangles and quadrilaterals so what for 161 it is stated in any rectilinear figure one side cannot be greater than the sum of the other sides so this is you know what uh, kind of a theorem which had not been stated earlier i mean i'm sure you know even bhaskara one would have realized being a very you know um, intelligent mathematician astronomer bhaskara one or mahavira they all would have realized they had not stated it so he had stated it explicitly then given the segments and the perpendicular in terms of the two sides and the third side that is the usual standard thing abada right segments and the perpendicular lamba so they are all stated and then area is half base into altitude so that is also given then he considers a case of a triangle with an obtuse angle to illustrate a point you know <coughs> in a triangle wherein the sides measure 10 and 17 and the base 9 tell me promptly expert mathematician the segments perpendicular and the area dasha sapcha dasha pramau bujau tribuje yatra nava pramah mahi abade vada lambakam tatha ganitam ganitam ganita kaashu tatra me so what is happening is that here there is a triangle like this so this is 17 and uh, so this is uh, 10 okay and this is 9 and one can see that it will be an obtuse angle here you know so you have to find the segments and the perpendicular so one can do it here the quotient is See b squared minus c squared by two a. This is a. If you write it as this b and c and this is a. So remember, in the segment calculation, you get b squared minus c squared by two a. It comes, and that has to be added and subtracted from a. So b squared minus c squared by two a is twenty one. This cannot be subtracted from the base. Wherefore, the base is subtracted from it. Anena bhuruna nasyat. अस्मादेव भूरपनीता, so he says that that so one of the segment is negative, that is to say in the contrary direction. रुनगता बाधा दिग्वै दिग्वै परित्येन इत्यर्था, so the two segments actually are found to be 15 and 6, and the perpendicular is 8 and here so so this is the two segments. so this will be 15 and this will be 6 so here you see normally earlier we had considered this kind of a thing in acute angle you see so these are the segments and the sum of the segments is uh, the base right so here you have to take 15 minus 6 you have to take you know so he is explaining that you know dig viparitya you know it is going in an opposite direction so see because here you know one segment is you know this tip to this and this tip to this here this into this the other is actually this into this from here to here runagata abhada you see so negative so this is a negative segment which is shown by the dotted line then he discusses the construction of a quadrilateral and its area sarvadayo yutidalam chatusthitam bahubhi virahitinch taddathe moolam asputha phalam prajayate spashtameya uditam tribahuke this is important what he is saying half the sum of all the sides is set down in four places and the sides are severally subtracted that is s is a semi parameter right semi perimeter So area is this, 
the square root of the a product is area. So, it is very clearly saying inexact for quadrilateral mulam, the mulam is the root, asputa, asputa is you know, puta is clear or correct, is given for uh, even longitude of a uh, planet, puta is true longitude, asputa is un inaccurate, okay. Asputa phalam prajayate, spashtameva uditam tribahuke, if there are three tries, you know, three sided figure, like a triangle, of course, that is exact. Of course, there you have to put one of them to be 0, right? D or something must be 0. So, then he goes on to discuss this because he says, you know, why, why is it indeterminate? Chatur Bujasya Niyatao Hi Karano Katham Tata Asmin Niyatam Phalam Syat. See, the diagonal of the quadrilateral indeterminate, how should the area be in this case be determinate, you know? So that is what he is saying. Prasadito Tachravano Yado Dvo Sakalpitatvad Siratranastaha, etcetera. He is saying. So that is the diagonals found assumed by the ancient do not answer in another case. With the same, same, there are same sides, there are other diagonals. And the area of the quadrilateral is accordingly manifold. So that's what he is. What he is saying is, for in a quadrilateral, opposite angles being made to approach contract their diagonal as they advance inwards, while the other angles receding outwards lengthen the diagonal. Therefore, he said that with the same side there are other diagonals. Okay. So how can a person neither specifying one of the perpendicular, not the either of the diagonals, as the rest? Or how can it demand a determinate area while they are indefinite? Okay. Such a questioner is a blundering devil. Still more so is he who answers the question. For he considers not the indefinite nature of the lines in a quadrilateral. This thing is so in the, of course Sanskrit it looks stronger, you know. Sapruchakaha Pishacho Va Ganaka Nitaram Tataha. Yonaveti Chaturbaho Ketasi Aniyatam Sitim. So, what he is saying to say, what he is saying to say is the following. Okay. See, suppose it is a quadrilateral. Suppose you are just given four sides. He is telling just by you know giving the four sides, can you determine the area? That is the question he is saying, asking, you know. See, suppose this is your quadrilateral, okay. So, one quadrilateral you have got by you know A, B, C, D kind of a thing. But he is saying that you know with the same side you can construct the other quadrilaterals with the same sides. Okay. See, for instance, this can come, uh, come closer, this can come closer. So, let us say A okay. and then D kind of a thing. So, this is also A, B, C, D. Okay. So, here the diagonal is longer and you know this diagonal is shorter and so this angle is becoming increase, is increasing and these angles are decreasing that is what he is trying to say. Opposite angles being made to approach, opposite angles being made to approach are contracting the diagonals. So, this diagonal is shorter than the other diagonal. Well, the other angle receiving outwards lengthen the diagonal. Okay, so now this will be lengthening. So with the same sides, you we get different quadrilaterals, various quadrilaterals with the same sides. Yeah, 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 yeah yes. So therefore, it is said with the same sides are other diagonals. Okay, given the sides, the diagonals are not specified. So, how can a person neither specifying one of the perpendicular nor either of the diagonals as the rest? Okay. So, or how can it de demand a determinate area while they are indefinite? So, it is not determined okay, because there are several okay, or uh, several quadrilaterals are there. So, how can it demand a determinate area? So, it is not specified completely. Okay. So, he is you know the person who is if he states that result you know. So, that is uh, 
he is taking him to task to say the least. <laughs> he is taking him to task. And then of course, say, say, say suppose somebody is asked, uh, asked that question, you know, what is the area? This is the sites, what is the area? So, that kind of a questionnaire is a blundering devil. And somebody who tries to answer that, he is even more of a blundering devil, that is what he is saying. Because Chumma without knowing, you know, without actually knowing the problem in the question, so he is trying to, you know, give an answer, guessing. So, this he is saying. So, essentially, so A, B, these are the sites. So, we have to specify, you know, <coughs> To specify D, for instance, you know this diagonal, or spe to specify this D, you see. So, if you just given the site, this uh, location of the points is not, uh, see in triangle that is not true. If you give the three sides, the triangle is completely fixed, but not in the quadrilateral. So, to specify this D, either you should give, sorry, you should either give one, the, one the diagonal or you should give the perpendicular or give this angle. So, apart from the sites, you have to do one more thing. So, that is. Then he goes on, you know, suppose the, you are given four sites in the diagonal, how to find out the second diagonal? Okay, so, that is what he is uh, next problem. Ishtotra karanaha pratamam prakalpya stesre tu karnobhayataha sthiteye karnatayo kshama mitarocha bahu prakalpya lambava bade prasadhye abada abada yo ek ek kaputstrayo yet syad antaram ye tat kruti samyutasya lambaikya vargasya padam vitiyaha karano bhavet sarva chaturbeshu bujeshu or in all these quadrilaterals okay so this is the so what do you do first a diagonal is assumed one diagonal in the triangle situated on each side of the diagonal the diagonal is made the base of each and the other sides are given. So, the perpendiculars and segments must be found. Then the square of the difference of the two segments on the same side being added to the square of the sum of the perpendiculars. The square root of the sum of those squares will be the second diagonal in all tetragons or quadrilateral. So, what he is trying to say is the following. You see, so you are suppose you are given all the four sides and this diagonal. So, given the diagonal, you see, you drop perpendicular on this from A and C. Okay. So, then you see this d h prime and h prime b in this triangle. So, d h prime and h prime b are the segments are abada and p 2 where is the lambaka, right? Lamba. Similarly, with the same base in this triangle, you see b c d, p 1 is the perpendicular and uh, now d h and h b they are the segments. Okay. So, these are the, so you get segments and perpendicular different corresponding to which triangle you are considering. So, let us say d h prime is d 1 d, I call it as that and d h prime b is d 1 a. So, these are segments associated with p 2, sorry d 1 c. So, that is um, d h, d h and h b, h b is d 1 b. So, D 1 C and D 1 B, they are the segments associated with this P 1 and similarly D H prime is equal to D 1 D and H prime B is equal to D 1 A. So, they are segments associated with P 2. So, now, he is saying extend A H prime to G and he is not saying, I mean I am getting the result. So, you would extend that, you know, such that the site is P 1 and you know and drop a perpendicular from here to here. So, then your C G will be essentially D 1 C minus D 1 D. So, D H so on the same side you know the segment, the segments associated with two different triangles right D 1 C minus D 1 D. So, this will be this which is this and the second diagonal will be you see, see this will be you see this is P 2, this is P 2 and this sorry this is P 1. So, this A G will be P 1 plus P 2, sum of the perpendiculars. So, you have to square that plus you square the difference between the some segments, you know, associated with different uh, triangles. 
so d1 c so which is this minus this so square these things add them and take the square root of the second diagonal now for instance he gives an example where d is 68 so this d is 68 then a is 75 b is 40 sorry these are the sides 68 75 51 and 40 and this diagonal is 77 suppose this diagonal is 77 so then it only a matter of details you can find the segments and all that and finally you get the second diagonal to be 85 so you get you get the point is it you are given a b c d and this diagonal uh, then you can get the other diagonal ac using this method okay so then he goes on to the construction of a cyclic quadrilateral so same method as given in brahma sutra siddhanta is given so you construct start with two right angle triangles b1 a1 c1 b2 a2 c2 you know these are two right angle triangles so then construct four triangles from that okay so this multiplied by a2 this triangle increase by a factor of a2 okay and then increase by a factor of b2 and similarly this increase by a factor of a1 this increase by a factor of b1 so triangles and place them like this okay so so this is cyclic quadrilateral which has been discussed earlier So now, very important thing now is that you know we can construct another cyclic quadrilateral. That's what he is saying. That had not been discussed by uh, Brahma Gupta or uh, Mahavira. So what he is saying is that essentially you exchange these two triangles. Okay. So here, these see in this of course in this construction the diagonals are intersecting perpendicularly. So they will be perpendicular to each other. so now what he is saying is that you know take this side to be this you know interchange so essentially you get this kind of a thing and uh, so this will be the same a1 a2 b1 b2 earlier they proceed you know they joined together and you know they constituted one uh, diagonal here they have been separated right and this will be a2 b1 and this will be a1 b2 so you can find the second diagonal and the second diagonal will be c1 c2 one can show that this is the second diagonal cd okay ac will continue to be a1 b2 plus a2 b1 and the second diagonal will be c1 c2 we may also note that in this construction the diagonal bd is the diameter of the circle circumscribing the quadrilateral So Bhaskara discusses various ingenious methods to derive various quantities associated with quadrilateral and uh, using similar triangles. So we don't have too much time. So now we'll go to circle. The discussion of uh, circle in uh, Bhaskara. So he has many new things to say regarding circles compared to what the earlier persons were mathematicians, Indian mathematicians said. He says that. व्यासे भनंदाग्निहते विभक्ते खबाण सूर्य परिधि सुसूक्ष्म व विशतिघ्ने विहते तैल स्थूलो अथवा स्थूलो अथवा सैद व्यवहार योग्य मेन द डायमीटर ऑफ ए सर्कल इज मल्टीप्लाइड बै थ्री नाइन टू सेवेन एंड डिवेडेड बै वन टू फाइव जीरो द क्वेश्चन इज द नियर सर्कम फरेन्स और मल्टीप्लाइड बै ट्वेंटी टू एंड डिवेडेड बै सेवेन इट इज द ग्रोथ सर्कम फरेन्स द्वाशति इज ट्वेंटी टू and uh, shaila is of course seven shaila is mountain or this thing so that is seven so dwavimsha tigne vihate the shaila he that is the approximate this thing so then bha is 27 which stands for the 27 nakshatras or the 24 27 fold division of the zodiac so nanda is nine and agni is three so bhanandagni is 3927 so the circumference Divided by diameter, is three nine two seven by one two five zero, which is almost the same as the R A button value, three point one four one six, and the rough value is twenty two by seven. Okay, in Buddha Vila Sini, Ganesha Devagna explains the value three nine two seven by one two five zero for pi. So it's just Bhaskara has stated this. Okay.
so you start with a hexagon okay inscribed hexagon inside a circle so you can take you know for the very approximate value you take the circumference of the hexagon to be the circumference of the circle so that is a very crude value because circumference of the hexagon will be 6 times the hexagon side which is r so circumference will be 6 r so which is fairly crude or 3d 3 times the diameter so now he says go to the dodecagon buddha vilasini he is explaining these things so that is construct a uh, polygon with sides 12 like this you know so this is the side of the dodecagon okay and then suppose this is h and this is side of that so these are by 2 so essentially so so first you started with hexagon so it is not uh, good enough so then you are doing the door decagon so each this thing is made into two kind of a thing so this is the center of the circle so this is your h so this is your r radius of the circle okay and this is also r so this is the side of the door decagon a 12 i write it like that and this is clearly r by 2 right with the hexagon side also is r so half of that is r by 2 so then clearly so in this triangle r minus h whole square plus r by 2 whole square is equal to r square right so r minus h whole square plus r by 2 whole square is equal to r square so you get h is equal to r minus root 3 by 2 into r so that is that mana or shara or arrow right so that is r minus root 3 by 2 r okay and so a 12 a 12 square clearly this is equal to h squared plus this so h we have found square root of that so you get a 12 is d is equal to we find you know using a calculator i get this but Ganesha gives the value do d into square root of 673 by 100. So, circumference is approximately if you take use a door decagon it will be 12 into square root of square 673 by 100 this will be the value of pi if you start from a door decagon somewhat better than this will be more than much better than 3. So, in this manner he says Buddha Vilasini if you have polygon of 384 sides so 384 is 12 into 32 is 12 into 2 to the power of 5 okay so this you have to keep on dividing 5 times over you see and get a polygon of higher and higher number of sides so then the buddhi vilasini he say that it is square root of 98683 by 100 you know that is what is uh, this thing is given so, which is equal to 3927 by 1250. One can show that then this will be because this into this will be 39. One can show that 392673, which is 392700. So, at least he has given the procedure correctly. So, and uh, this is the better. So, then as a last topic in this second uh, lecture on the Kalilavati, it is a very important thing area of a circle surface area and volume of a sphere inverse 203 paridi gunita vyasa padaha palamyat shunnam vaidehi vaidehi upari paritaha kandukasyeva jalam golasyevam tadapicha palam prushtajam vyasa nignam shadbir bhaktam bhavati niyatam golagar be dhanakyam so in a circle a quarter of the diameter multiplied by the circumference is the area that multiplied by 4 is the net all around the ball this contain kanduka ball this content of the surface of the sphere multiplied by diameter and divided by 6 is a precise solid termed cubic content within the sphere so what he is saying is area of a circle he starts with that the circumference into diameter by 4 so pi d squared by 4 i mean they don't use pi as i have already mentioned for modern notation i am writing what they say is this and sir, this is correct surface area of a sphere is circumference into diameter into pi d square into 4 pi r square which is this and volume of a sphere is 
circumference into diameter squared by 6, which will come out to be 4 by 3. So, they are all exact results. Okay. So, here the surface of a area of a sphere, see what he is saying is, so this is a three dimensional figure you know, the three dimensional figure, so he says it is a ball kind of a thing, so in which you cover it with a thread, kanduka, jala you see, so that will be the area, so that is what he is saying and volume of a sphere is this. Now, um, in Leelavati, <coughs> none of these are derived or uh, they are uh, explained in detail. Uh, Ganesha's derivation of the area of a circle in Buddhi Vilasini, so that we can take up. So, what he is saying is, which I had indicated, see, you make it into two semicircles, and this semicircle you write it like this, you know, see, this triangle you write it like this. Of course, in a very large number means this will almost look like a straight line, this arc. So, this is the straight line, this one, you know. So, all these triangles, you put it like this, one after the other. Second triangle is this, not this, 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 all the lower thing, you know. And here also, you take this, you see, this one is this and next one is this, you put it like that, okay. So, when you combine them, you combine these two things. So, this will be a, you will get a rectangle. Okay. So, all these, these are all vacant here. See, in the first thing, these are all vacant. These are all triangles and these are all vacant, upper things, you know, this, this triangle with uh, vertex feeling, you know, vertex uh, downwards. Okay. Similarly, here, these are the vacant things, triangle with vertex, you know, going upwards. So, now you club them together, so they will exactly fit in and you will become a rectangle and the side of the rectangle is diameter and the, the smaller side, the bigger side will be the circumference naturally, right, because you are adding all these things basically. You are adding these, okay, and uh, here and adding all these things here. So, essentially you will get a rectangle and this will be the height of that rectangle is only diameter by 2 and this will be circumference. Okay. This will be half the circumference, this will be the half the circumference. Rectangle with sides, circumference by 2 and diameter by 2 radius, right. So, area is clearly 1 by 4 into circumference into diameter, so that is what it gets. Then surface area of a sphere, so that is a, a little tricky. So, he discusses this in Siddhanta Shiromani Goladhyaya and in the Vasana that is the commentary. He has himself written a commentary. So, there he discusses that. So, what he does is divide the hemisphere into 24 strips. Okay. It is arc bit, each of them is you know 90 degrees by 24. And the area of the strip is in our language, see this is the radius is r sin theta the radius will be 2 pi r sin theta that will be the circumference into this side r delta theta you see. So, area of the strip is this and r delta theta is r into as I told you delta theta is 90 degrees by 24 in radians I am writing as pi by 2 into 24 and the theta i's these are pi by 2 into pi by 2 into 24 into i, i going from 1 to 24. You are dividing into 24 divisions that is already written. So, now you have to essentially sum this area of the hemisphere, you have to sum these things, right. So, this is at the ith level, this will be r sin theta is the radius, okay. So, you have to sum over all these strips. So, this is the thing and the r delta theta. So, Bhaskara carries out the sum explicitly using the 24 r sin values from the table and reports the measure of the hemisphere to be 2 pi r square. And what he says of course is actually this whole thing will be half the product of the circumference and the diameter. And Yukti Basha proves that the, okay sorry. So, what he gets will not be exactly this, but um, 
when he does this some you know with using the values he has taken it will be very close to that okay so then <coughs> he will you know take it to be it will be very close to what you get is you know 3 4 some something you know the what you get the number will be close to 3 4 3 8 square so that is r you know as we had you know discussed earlier many times trijya r 3 4 3 8 square so very correctly guesses you know that what you are getting you know if you are doing these things more accurately then finally you should get you know something r squared more you should get so he says that and finally he states it as half the product of the circumference and the diameter whereas yukti basha it will be done later proves that the area of the hemisphere is 2 pi r squared it essentially does the integration sin theta d theta sin theta is there so they some they have they know how to infinite series for sin theta and they know that if you the differential of sin is cos and the differential of cos is sin so they exactly get this result there is no summation you know summation is assumed and um, finally you get uh, what is recognized is very clearly that you know the derivative of sin theta is cos theta. that of course will be explained later so <coughs> you get the correct result baskara but um, the method is slightly the slight uh, deficiency which will be covered up in yukti basha and volume of the cone also is very interesting volume of the sphere so you can take it as you know various cones as if it is made up of various cones suppose you consider some cone with delta a as the area and volume of the cone bit you see that is tapering you know to this thing and we know that when there is a volume which is tapering the volume is one third the base area into height right this has been told and his base area is delta a and the height is r only radius that is all so one third delta a into a and the volume of the sphere is one third so when you sum over all these things when you sum over all these things you have to take all these things into account r will be the same you have to sum over the area elements so no matter how you have divided it if you divide if you take the sum it will be surface area of the sphere which has been derived earlier so this will be area of a sphere one third of area of a sphere into r so which is one third into 4 pi r cube that is how it is so this is how he is you know is a very important thing because i don't think they had uh, discussed the area of a sphere and volume of sphere exactly they had uh, area of a circle was given earlier even mahavira had given that time uh, brahma gupta also would have known that but uh, <coughs> the area of a sphere and the volume so this is the first time it is explicitly spelt out and again the relation among chord chara and diameter so these things are standard things we had discussed this earlier the references are given thank here you. thank you yeah, yeah I found the very interesting in which they have described uh, the volume of a sorry the surface area of a, <coughs> of a surface area of a Sphere is Kanduka Jala. Kanduka Jala, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I'm just uh, reflecting on it. So, actually, we are measuring a surface area in terms of a length with a negligible length. Length delay, but you know, then what, what happens is you know that, uh, that delta, length, delta with, with an what will happen is the area so element only will come, length will disappear actually. So, I mean, so saying you know, to you cover the surface with a net kind of a thing, that's what he is trying to say. But I, he will not. He, he will not use this thing. But it is a calculus kind of a thing. He is doing a summation. Yes. He is doing explicitly the summation. You know that is what you do. Suppose you want to find the integral of something in a computer. You are you do, you do this. You know you do various elements and then sum it over. So that is basically it is done. But only there seems to be some slight this thing. You know he is. You could have done it better. You could have done better and the exact thing is. It's a gross value. Yeah. No, no, grow, the value is exact, but what is you know the method is slightly this thing you know, short yeah, short of the perfection. perfection, yeah. But well, Yukti Basha he gives the correct thing, you know, he because what is essentially involved is integral sign will be cos, and then cos zero to pi by two, you know, so that will be give one. So that he has not, he knew that. Baskara, of course, in various places in uh, uh, astronomy and other, he does, you know, gives the result that the Differential of sin is cos that is uh, used everywhere, many places in his Vidanta Charamani. But somehow he has not used this, uh, he has not put it here.
ಅಷ್ಟೇ